Okay, this is a review for Dim Drive, which is a program to create a RAM disk. A RAM disk is basically a virtual hard drive that's put into the random access memory, but it acts as a normal hard drive. This one is aimed at gamers because it has Steam integration. It picks up your Steam games and you can turn on which ones you want to use in the RAM disk to try and speed them up. You can also add other programs such as Chrome here. It tells you the CPU load and how much RAM you've used out of the, your total RAM available to your system, including a basic little benchmark program here. You can select C, hit start. Give it a few seconds to pick it up and start. There you go. And then you could select another drive such as D, which is uh, C is my SSD, or well, my brother's SSD, it's his PC, and then D is a hybrid mechanical drive. Let's just out of interest hit it again on D to show you the difference I will be running another benchmark program though anyway as you can see it's taking more time to do it because it's been a slower drive In fact it's taking too long so I'm actually going to uh, just stop it. I'm going to use another program anyway. Here you can select, by default these will be off, but you can select to launch a program on Windows Startup and then activate the DIMM drive automatically. I recommend turning these on. Here you turn the whole drive on. You select the size such as 5 gigs, the drive letter, in this case selected M for memory. And once you've made one you can hit open drive to open it like uh, here, it show up as another drive like C, D and M. I'd recommend any programs you add, you hit the little crank thing here next to it before you turn it on and make sure file synchronization is ticked. This will make sure it doesn't just copy it to the DIMM drive, it actually syncs any changes you make to the one on the DIMM drive back to the hard drive so you don't lose any data. Uh, there's also various other options here, it also shows you various size information such as the remaining space on the DIMM drive and the game size and if this was a game you added up say like Chrome you added up here there would be a little bin so you can delete it I'll show you a sec what I mean by that you right click hit add then I could go to what should we do let's just go to this program there we go click file synchronization and up here I can remove it, just click, click close, not to remove it and hit on if I want it to automatically start up in the dim drive. Not start up, but automatically put it in the dim drive each time. Then up here I can click the bin to delete it. Are you sure? Yes. I will now show you a benchmark. launching crystal mark 64 bit for windows got to do let's do three to make this quicker 100 megabyte file on c hit or this is a 64 bit version and it tells you up here how far it is uh, we know what it's doing in this case a sequential read th test 303 Now preparing a sequential write, which will show up here when it's done, or close to being finished. It's not taking too long to do six. Uh, three tests on each at the moment really because it's um, testing the SSD at the moment C drive which is um, an Samsung Evo uh, 840 which is one of the best dry uh, SSDs out there They're one of the fastest and there is a 850 Pro now
but until that recently came out this was basically the best SSD you can get so this might not be a completely fair test against dim drive however what will be fair fairer in a minute is to test a mechanical hybrid drive D, drive D because that is where you see the real big uh, diff improvement with dim drive over your mechanical hard drive nearly done on test two or three of the right here it's just got these two to do if the mechanical takes too long I'll probably uh, cut cut and edit the this section and just skip ahead to when it's finished the hybrid but we'll see how fast it goes it's now started down here on test two or three here This isn't 100% a fair test to the Samsung drive, this benchmark, because of course when the drive is almost full like this, 98% full, it start you start to see performance hit there. So if this was a newer install of Windows, you'll see a much better performance here. And there we go, done. So let's say 4K, 472 megabyte, um, megabytes a second read, 228, right. Now you don't have to remember that because I'll tell you again. But D is only one percent full, which will help with D drive. But then again, it's mechanical, so you've got to see it a lot slower here. Okay, you can really see the difference between the hybrid and the SSD already, even though, of course, this isn't a review for the SSD. But still, 97, uh, 97 megabytes a second read up here, and that is much slower. I think it said about 6.5 gigs a second or something on the uh, SSD. You're not even getting 100 megabytes read here. And here, we haven't quite finished. Let's just give it a second. Okay, I think it's done that. 161 megabytes, right. Okay, that's that done. Pathetically slow. Now we need to uh, test the dim drive, but let's first uh, activate it. Okay, one of one of the features as well here is USB 3 drive turbo mode which you can configure available US drives will be listed here then you can click uh, click here to enable please select the USB drive to use the dim drive your current so, uh, dim drive size of gig to continue please select the drive with at least the same amount of free space and it will put it on and put it on to the USB 3 stick and use it that way which is quite handy okay let's now use the benchmark this time on N which is our uh, dim drive no three still 100 megabyte files
OK and there we go, now it's all of the benchmarks are on. Okay, so basically, it's so basically at the end of this review, what suggestions do I have, how do I feel about it? It's a great version of a RAM disk program aimed at gamers with great Steam integration, which I haven't seen in any other program, plus the USB 3 turbo mode. It includes as well its own built-in benchmark and stats here, which is handy. The suggestions or criticisms I have is just this interface is quite interesting it's done to look like a RAM, a RAM stick however I think it's mostly because it's got a horrible solid grey colour it makes it look like a dated program it makes it look like a program from the late 90s something you'd expect to see on Windows 95 or 98 I'm not saying that necessarily have to change completely and get rid of the RAM stick idea just maybe a different colour different texture something like that because if you just go onto a website and see some screenshots, your first impression is it's an out-of-date program from a few years ago and it probably isn't maintained anymore, which isn't the case. Uh, so I'd really recommend they at least retexture this, if not remake it. Having said that, from what I can tell, there is a beta of a 2.0 version uh, in the works, and that does seem, from what I can gather, it seems like it has a new interface, completely different, more, much more modern. It, uh, the only other thing I would suggest, the only other thing I would suggest, is, as far as I could find on their website, there is no trial version. There's no demo. And I personally, before I would buy something like this, um, I would like to at least have a quick look at a trial or a demo. Uh, so I think they perhaps get a much more, uh, quite a lot more sales if they had some sort of demo or trial version available. So those are my really only two suggestions for improvements right now: is new interface or new skin for an interface, and some sort of trial version so people can try before they buy. Also, I should point out that here is a version number down here if you're wondering what version it is in small here. Up here you can minimize. Uh, down to down here on the taskbar or minimize to the tray which you probably most likely do I uh, do most often uh, here's a help menu and here is close you can also sign up for the beta over here and you can open your drive well, I've got it turned off but if you turn it on you can open the drive which will basically just go here and open it just like you're doing that so if you have any questions please ask me in the comments and I'll try and help you and please like comment and subscribe thanks for watching